What is it with Lisa's obsession with cats? It's true. How many cases of Fancy Feast did you have to buy before they gave you that dress? Lisa loves cats. I've known Lisa Hammer for longer than is reasonable. Uh, I'm not sure how long reasonable is. I want to say seven inches. Maybe sunshine! Because there was a band called Requiem in White that I was seeing in the 80s. Am I delusional? Am I crazy? In the 80s, I was in a band called Requiem in White. And I would say we were across with, um, you know, Black Sabbath with an opera singer. We were very um, heavy, heavy, heavy death rock, which then was the phrase goth was coined, which we never really thought we were goth, but apparently we were. Requiem in White um, was sort of lightning in a bottle. I don't know, it was the right place, right time. We moved to New York, people kind of started going crazy. At that point, everyone was doing the spiky black hair, kind of Susie or The Cure, but we were doing medieval kind of look. I had the long red hair with the red velvet dress that Karen from Archivestry made for me. Hi, I'm Karen Fleisch. Karen Fleisch um, is an incredible designer and she with her partner Robbie Deanna in the 80s were in a company called Accomplice. They were designing, I believe, they designed the first real gothic clothing for the scene. So the frilly shirts, the frock coats, the long dresses, like all the Victorian wear. Mainly in my life, I'm a designer. I have had a line called Archivestry for a very long time in which my design partner and I designed for all sorts of musicians, performers. Howard Stern. Ozzy Osbourne. Tom Jones. Cher, Olivia Newton-John. Uh, Al Jorgensen's hat from Ministry. Mick Jagger. And they started designing custom dresses for me for Requiem in White. That, and I would say, listen, I want, look at this um, pre-Raphaelite painting, this Waterhouse painting, and make me the dress in the painting. This beautiful long brocade dress with blah, 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 and then my hair would be long and, and wavy. And they would just come back with this gorgeous dress that had a train behind it and long sleeves and the brocade and the lace up. Oh my God. I used to dress Lisa in corseted, uh, tiny little Renaissance dresses and, and things that laced up and showed off her 21-inch uh, waist. Um. People started dressing like us. It turned into a phenomenon. There was a red dress that they made for me that was dubbed somehow by fans as the Requiem red dress. It was this huge show. So that's one with typo negative, right? And uh, we just wanted, at least we just had to do something over the top and fabulous for Lisa. And um, we designed a red and black and silver like metal brocade. Um, with borders and these great renaissance sleeves and corseted overdress with the skirt that was underneath it and then she had her red hair down to her waist. She just looked like um, something out of one of the romantic paintings. It was just, it was extraordinary. Karen is now doing her own line and she's a really good friend of mine and I asked her if she could be involved in the show. We didn't really have a budget for her, so I'm hoping with, the, with when we do get a budget, I'd like to hire her because she's a genius. Her work is gorgeous. A lot of what I do now has a bit of sophistication to it. Style-wise, I like to incorporate all kinds of interesting um, ideas from vintage clothing to very current clothing and um, make someone's personality come out. You know, Lisa and I, are about the same age and yeah and so we face a lot of the same struggles in that we're both still musicians we're both still out there playing shows we're both still living the dream or trying to well older women compared to 18 and 20 year olds body is completely different um, there's subtle little things that happen that if you dress right you don't really notice it but when you are dressing and when you are uh, um, designing or doing something custom made for someone, you have a lot more to uh, take into context. So, um, I'm not pregnant. You're not pregnant. You're just fat. Obviously, with something like this, it's a show, and she's trying to look like a current rock singer. She wants she wants to look current without making herself look aged. Maybe sunshine. The costume for DJ Dark appeared from Karen Fleisch's. Uh, bountiful wardrobe. Uh, she brought in several pieces because I'm... DJ Dark and I do not have the same tastes in clothing. Um, so Karen was able to pull a couple of choice pieces. I think we're looking at like elf punk maybe for our next season for my wardrobe and I'm hoping she'll just do me head to toe because as soon as she styles me, 
I look amazing. She styled me for the for this Bin YC show with the black dress and the pink tie. Karen Fleisch has been styling me probably since 1991. <laughs> it's got to be that old, that that long ago. We they did a couple like magazine spreads with um, myself dressed in their clothing and my ex-husband dressed in their clothing. And uh, we did fashion shows at the Limelight with them and of course they dressed they pretty much dressed all of us, the, the men in the band as well.